What's up guys, it is PME Volleyball and we are back at it with another day in the life video. Today or this weekend, we're not actually gonna be following my day necessarily, but we are gonna be following my weekend. So it is currently Saturday. We do have a volleyball game today and then tomorrow there is a little bit more volleyball happening. So I'm gonna kind of take these two days and condense them into one mega vlog. It's gonna be more of like a weekend vlog instead of like a singular day. It is currently 11.25 in the morning um we need to be on the bus ready to go to our game this is an away game at karen university we need to be on the bus at 1 30. we are going to go meet up with a couple of friends um and get some lunch before the game i think we decided on going to tropical smoothie i'm probably going to get like a sandwich and a smoothie and that's going to be my pre-game fuel for the match later today we play at 4 30 yeah and they're about an hour away so we do have a decent bus ride to look forward to later so i'm super hungry i woke up about an hour ago i'm gonna go throw on a shirt and a hoodie and yeah we're gonna be on our way to tropical smoothie day in the life of pme volleyball i love it let's get into it all right bro so i walk outside and we are greeted by some absolutely lovable rain and just crappy overall weather so i kind of got a little a little soaked on my way out into the car but Regardless, we are on our way to go get some tropical smoothie. I'm gonna use my handy dandy smartphone device right here and take a look at what they have for options for food on their mobile app because I wanna get there, get my food, and then get out and get back indoors. Hello, Christian. Hello, tropical smoothie. All right, let's do a little order now action. Okay, let's open up this menu. Let's go to entrees first. I'm gonna do one of these chicken bacon ranch, like half wraps, I guess. I don't really know what you call it. Um, these things are just so good. They got everything that you could ever want on a sandwich in them. Um, and then I gotta choose my side here. We're gonna get some, yeah, we're gonna go sun chips. Give me some sun chips with that, Johnny. Get a smoothie too, we have to, it's in the name. We're gonna do a beach bum, some white chocolate, throw that in the cart, and let's, uh, let's check out. Got everything, we want that ASAP. And that's that's lunch right there. That is pre-game lunch right there. Solid 10 out of 10 pre-game volleyball lunch. It's gonna be absolutely devoured once it's in my hands, for sure. Go to payment. Okay, so we traversed out into the weather outside. And as you can see, there is Tropical Cafe right over there. Um, we got our food. It is in my lap right now. I have my smoothie, my chips, my sandwiches in there. I got a straw for the smoothie. We're going to take this back. I'm probably going to eat some of it now. Um, and then when I get back, I'll probably open up the sandwich and enjoy it. And then gather my gatherings for the game. Got to grab my backpack, tripod, phone for uh, my, my recording phone, just some other things, an energy drink, um, all the necessities of a volleyball player for game day. Okay, so we got back to my room. I'm wearing black, like this is a black hoodie, but it is now a darker shade of black because it was absolutely pouring the entire time that we were out trying to get our food. Um, I'm about three, maybe maybe a fourth of the way down my smoothie right now. I mean, it's just hitting different right now. Like that is such a good combination of things to put in a smoothie. Like something about bananas, strawberries, and just a little bit of chocolate really does it for me. Yeah, just something about all those things blended up together. It's just absolutely delicious. I love it. Also, we have our sandwich. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I ate the sun chips on the way here because I was a little hungry. I haven't had anything to eat this morning. I'm going to sit here and eat this sandwich right now um and then afterwards we're gonna start packing up our things and getting ready to go over to the gym where we will meet with the rest of the team hop on a bus and go play karen university five minutes later
so we got about an hour ride until we get there. And then when we get there, we'll have an hour warm ups just like we normally do for these things. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Probably gonna take a nap in this next hour, rest my eyes a little bit, throw on some music, get in the right headspace, get ready to play for today. Yeah, I'll update you guys when we actually get to the gymnasium of Karen University. Yo, it's Ty, you know, back in the biz. It's a great day to be alive here at uh, LBC Lancaster. We got we got a game today. I'm feeling pretty confident. It's a it's a conference match, third game of the conference. Wish us luck. So this carrying team that we are on our way to play right now, it's the same team that we played in the CSAC playoff finals last year, and we were able to beat them 3-0. That was a very fun game. That was my first playoff run with LBC Men's Volleyball last year as a freshman, um, and it was cool to win the conference. A ton of fun, but yeah, this is definitely going to be a well-anticipated rematch between uh, the two of our teams here. I'm definitely looking forward to getting another opportunity to play uh, another one of the top teams in our conference that's for sure i think we were about half an hour into our car ride here we still have like an hour to go um i think it's nap time so i'm gonna try my best to take a nap and wake up and be at karen so that's what's up So we are about an hour away from the start of the game. Um, we just got here, got settled in, got everything on that I need for the volleyball game apparel wise. Uh, I'm going to go head out and start warming up. I will see you guys straight into the game. This is gonna be a fun game, probably a team that we're gonna see in the playoffs again this year. So looking forward to it. See you guys on the court. It's game day, baby. Let's get it. Woo!
Okay, so if you guys have seen other videos of me on the channel, these aren't my normal volleyball shoes. I actually left them in our locker room at LBC. They were just sitting in a locker. It wasn't locked or anything. We didn't break into anything. They were kind of just sitting there. So not me not having any shoes. I just decided that I was going to grab them, um, wear them, borrow them real quick, and now I'm going to go put them back. But to whoever owns these blue Giannis's that just left them in there, um, thank you. You saved me from a world of trouble there. If I didn't have my shoes, I wouldn't have been able to play. Um, um, so I will forever be grateful for these blue Giannis beauties. Just just look at these things guys like there's like holes in them the bottom like <laughs> This, this insole part right here is just falling apart. So I didn't really think they were like nice shoes that really belonged to somebody. So I thought that it would be okay to borrow them. But right now we are going to go put them back um, in the locker that we found them from. So again, shout out to whoever owns these blue Giannis's. You saved my life. I'm going to put them right back there for you. Um, thank you very much. All right, now we are going to hop back on the bus and go back out into this horrible weather, this horrible rainy weather, back to LBC. See you on the bus. Alright, we are on the bus. An hour and a half drive back to LBC. Um, hopefully we stop for food because I am pretty hungry. Depends on... I don't, I don't really care what we stop for. I'm not picky, but we'll uh, probably make a stop on the way home here and eat something. And, you as well, buddy. And yeah, I, this is the first time in my life where I forgot my volleyball shoes um, going to a game. And it worked out. God works in mysterious ways, man. He just left those shoes in that locker for me. Those worn down blue Giannis's um, saved, saved my day. So I'm hungry. Let's go eat. This just in, we are going to Raisin Cane's for food which we don't have any raisin canes anywhere near lbc when i live when i go back home to long island i don't have any raisin canes near me raisin canes is just absolutely one of my favorite places to eat at i absolutely love it i cannot wait to go devour some delicious chicken there it is the raisin canes we were about to absolutely munch on some chicken fingers oh man just looking at that sign makes me hungry budget for food is 12 bucks so I don't know if you can see from there but that one up there in the top left is called the box combo it's got four chicken fingers uh, some fries cane sauce Texas toast coleslaw and a drink so that is lunch late lunch slash early dinner we're probably gonna go get another bite to eat later but that's what's up right now for food and how do you know a volleyball team is eating at your restaurant well I'll tell you the line looks like that um, there's like 23 of us on this team. I kind of feel bad for any institution that we walk into just because it's a big group um, and it could get a little crazy in here. But yeah, I cannot wait to get my food. Super hungry. I'm just getting hungry or looking at the food on the menu. We got the uh, Raisin Cane's lemonade here. Mm. That's a really good lemonade. Not super tart, not super sweet. Kind of like a happy medium ground. So, PME Volleyball approves, if we had to give it a ranking, because we do a lot of rankings on this channel, we had to give the Lemonade a ranking out of 10, we're going to go a solid 7.8 out of 10 for the Lemonade. Oh, that hits the spot. And just like that, the food has been secured, we got our box combo right here. No coleslaw, extra Texas toast, a little bit of ketchup on the side. We got that beautiful cane sauce, and then obviously the chicken. We're gonna take this on the bus with us and go eat, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna be taking this to go and eat on the way home. Um, never mind, I lied, we are eating here. So, cute time lapse of me eating raisin canes. Wow, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, the food absolutely hit unbelievably hard um i'm stuffed i ate there was like an extra box so i took a, a couple extra tenders and then some fries just that food was really good um i think we have like an hour and 15 minute ride back 
I'm gonna try everything in my power to take a nap because I'm kind of tired, I'm not gonna lie. And hopefully I can get this little nap out of the way so I can be semi-productive when I get back to campus instead of being a dead zombie. There is a chance that I take another nap when I get back, but I'm trying to prevent that. So productive nap, incoming, here we go. Good night, see you when I wake up. Okay. So we made it back to LBC, it was about 7.55. I don't really have like a set plan for the rest of the day necessarily. Um, I'm trying to think as I sit here and reflect what I should be doing with like the next four hours while I will be awake. You know, funny story, we look on top of my locker here. These are the shoes that I should have brought with me that stayed above my locker instead of traveling with me. I don't even know what happened necessarily. Like I remember grabbing my like clothing, my jerseys, and I just forgot the probably the most important thing I needed besides my jerseys, which were my shoes. That was a pretty stupid moment on my part. Um, yeah, that was pretty <laughs> kind of funny in retrospect because everything worked out. But yeah, that was a uh, that was a silly mistake that we made. So shoes are gonna stay right here. I'm gonna make sure all my laundry is where it needs to be to get washed. Basically, what's gonna be happening tomorrow is we have a developmental tournament. So our B team, we have an A team and a B team. This tournament is specifically meant for our B team. So it's gonna be a whole day thing. I'm gonna be taking my cameras there. Uh, I, I finally bought a real camera. So I'm gonna be taking my camera and we're gonna go and try and get some shots for my teammates to uh, put in the video. Um, this is gonna be practice for the summer because as I mentioned very briefly in the last video, we do have something super exciting that I'm waiting to announce, but we will be needing to learn how to kind of take shots I want to get some more practice taking shots of live action volleyball so this will be good practice for that i'm not going to announce it yet but trust me that one's going to be super exciting i can't wait to do a reveal for that so i'm going to head back to my room now take a shower get cleaned up and we'll decide what the best use of my time for the rest of my saturday is let's go do that Okay, so we have made it back to my room. Finally, took a shower, changed. I, I went to the gas station with one of my friends from the team, picked up some milk. In fact, this is Wawa Double Dutch Chocolate Milk, and it tastes incredible. It tastes really good. Um, I've been enjoying drinking that milk. So tomorrow, we have this developmental tournament, right? And I'm going to take my camera that I just bought. I, I can't believe I've been making content on the internet for like three years now, and I've just decided that year three, going into year three, now we need to buy a real camera. I've just been using my iPhones in the past. I have my personal phone, and then I have this other phone that just has a crap ton of storage on it that I use to record my games. Um, but yeah, no, 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 getting sidetracked. I'm gonna bring that camera to the developmental tournament tomorrow for my team, try and get some cool shots of them playing. Um, and as I said earlier, this is gonna be good practice for an adventure that I'm going to be taking you guys along this summer. Um, again, not gonna share too many details about that. Just know that it is gonna be absolutely epic and you won't wanna miss out on those videos, so make sure to hit subscribe. For the rest of tonight, I think I'm I'm just going to sit in this chair, probably watch some YouTube videos. Maybe I can um, see if I can find a volleyball match or two to watch. Besides that, there's not much else going on. It is around 11. Holy cow, it is around 11 o'clock at night. Um, what I will do while I'm sitting here, and I remember to do it, is we can look at the stats from today. Because, well, our stats don't define us as volleyball players and athletes. After the fact, after a game, I think it's completely appropriate to look back and see how well we performed by the numbers. So let me pull those up real quick. Okay, so our record is now sitting at 9 and 13. We are making a comeback from like the 4, 5, and 12 that we were sitting at earlier <laughs> earlier in the season. Um, we are slowly getting back to 500 where we want to be. Okay, so here are the stats for today. So we played in three sets today. Um, it was a three set set win we won via sweep um we had three kills on four attempts so we hit for 750 not bad at all we had 38 assists which i think breaks my assist per set previous record which i think i had i think was earlier this year we had 36 against pratt in the uh, last vlog
catalog um and that was 12 a set this is more than 12 assists a set 38 assists in three sets yeah definitely happy with that for sure we had also to go with that a service ace and two service errors which you know i've been trying to cut down on my service errors this year that's definitely been probably one of the weaker spots in my game but the ace definitely evened it out for sure on the defensive side of the ball we had one solo block that was definitely included in this video i remember that block it was a big old block straight down love to see a block like that and we had six digs which is uh respectable we i have a joke with my teammates um this year that we've been using I, i've been joking with them saying that i'm a defensive minded setter and the joke has kind of just turned into a reality for me like one of the points of emphasis i make on the volleyball court is to be a defensive minded setter and my defense from this year to last year has thus improved tremendously like i wasn't that good on defense this year now i don't feel like so much of a cone so yeah those are the stats 38 assists three kills one service ace one block and six digs not bad not bad i'm gonna probably do a little bit of just light work um to end the night off and then probably start to organize the clips for this video and then i'm gonna hop in this great bed i have right next to me and go to sleep and wake up and be ready for an incredible day following my volleyball team cheering on my fellow teammates as they play in this developmental tournament probably catch up with you guys tomorrow so good night okay so it is day two of the pme volleyball weekend vlog today we are a volleyball videographer we're going to try to be anyways i have the camera that i bought like a month ago that i've been using to shoot a couple of my other videos with in my backpack um and yeah we're gonna take it out try and get some shots of my fellow teammates for today and practice that part of volleyball content creation i'm super excited about it should be a fun day definitely look forward to personally having a day where i can just relax a little bit and not necessarily play volleyball but be around volleyball um yeah it's gonna be a good one my energy drink of choice in hand we got nalani cherry slush version for this morning and yeah i'm approaching the gym right now see you guys in there All right, so we have a little break in the action here. Um, while I've been shooting clips of this tournament that's happening at LBC for our developmental team, we also, the, the other people who aren't playing in it, so like me and a couple of the other guys, uh, we're, we're working it. So there's a lot going on, um, but right now we are off. We have a little bit of time to go grab a quick bite for lunch, which I think is gonna be a cheat. I'm feeling probably like a burrito. I think we're gonna go pick that up right now. What I've learned trying to shoot videos of volleyball is that it's really stinking hard because that ball is just moving so incredibly fast that it's kind of hard to focus on like what you want the action of the shot to be. So I see like all these volleyball Instagram pages of them just capturing these beautiful shots of volleyball. And I'm like thinking to myself, like, it's just crazy how they do that because I'm here trying to do it with my little Sony vlogging camera and it <laughs> it's just not looking the same, but I think I will get better at it. Um, and I like the way I, I think we're our team right now is playing great, which is awesome too. Um, I'm super excited for them. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just been good vibes for today. That's that's the theme of today is like, it is a good vibey day, just full of good things to appreciate and enjoy. Okay, so we gotta create our burrito real quickly here. So we're gonna go full menu, Mex-American. 
burritos. Uh, we will do a oh, cheesy wrap. Yeah, throw some steak on that. We don't need any extra. Yeah, we need some beans and rice for sure. I don't think I want any sauce. Okay, we gotta go sour cream, shredded cheese, shredded lettuce, diced onions, diced tomatoes. Boom. No thanks, no thanks. Yeah, complete that. Thank you. Okay, so the food has been secured. Got it in this bag right here. We're gonna take it back to campus with me. Um, probably eat it in the gym while we do work for the next game that we have to. Um, we've been working the scoreboard today, so I just flipped that little scoreboard thingy every time a team scores a point, and that is my honorable duty for today. So I'm gonna munch and flip some scoreboards. Let's get it. Okay, so the volleyball tournament ended um, and we are back in my room and it's around eight o'clock at night. It has been a very, very long two days of filled with volleyball, really. Our team, LBC, uh, our B team, they ended up winning the, the developmental tournament, which was pretty cool. They, uh, they finished like a two or three seed after pool play. There were five teams total. So the way the tournament was set up was the two and three would play each other to play the one in the championship game. The one got a bye. So we were a two or three um, in the semi-final match, and then we won, and we got to play the one seed, which we beat in two. So yeah, it, it was just really cool being there for my guys and be excited for them when they won the tournament. Um, it's just a cool feeling. Um, I think it brought us closer together as a team, just being there for each other, um, everybody being there for each other. So yeah, it was a super cool day, full of fun. I definitely got some more practice shooting um, volleyball content with like a real camera. Definitely going to continue to work on that and try and get better. Just add that to my arsenal of content creation skills, you might say. But overall, it has just been a great weekend. It's been an awesome past two days and I've been just really honored to bring you guys along with me for the journey. This coming week, we actually don't have any volleyball games. Um, we have a little bit of a break, but then after that, the schedule picks right back up again. I think we only have like three or four games left until our conference playoffs start and then if we make it all the way through our conference and win it we will have a shot in the ncaa volleyball tournament this year which is pretty exciting stuff so definitely more vlogs to come your way um i cannot wait to continue to give you a look into the life of pme volleyball the life of a volleyball player thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure to smash that like button it helps me out a ton um yeah we are on the road to 200 000 subscribers I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.